So let's go ahead and try and create a, a virtual machine from scratch. Let's give it a name. Um, it's important to name it something that you can remember and not something that's pretty, you know, boring like that my VM or whatever it is. Give it something um, that you can remember and conforms to some form of standard. So I'd call mine, for instance, like WordPress VM if we're creating a virtual machine for WordPress. And it could be, let's say WordPress VM 01 if you had multiple instances running WordPress. So the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is select the region. When it comes to selecting zones, typically every region has a uh, uh, three zones some may have two some may have i think four i think the u.s central has four four zones um but the selection of zones is not as important um some resources are replicated through multiple zones like cloud storage for instance is a multi-zonal resource it can also be a multi-regional resource and so it can be replicated in different parts of zones we'll talk about zones and the peculiarities in a totally different video but it's important to notice and so the next thing I just want to uh, quickly finish off with is the idea of zones. Zones exist within regions. And so typically regions would have about three zones in them. Some of them have four, like I think the US Central has four of them. Some may have two. And so zones are just your different areas of replication. And so Compute Engine is one of those resources in GCP where you actually create it on a zonal level. A cloud storage may exist on a regional level or multi-regional level. A Compute Engine, you can actually specify the zone in which you want your instances to be running. And last but not least, when it comes to creating selecting regions, is noticing the pricing. And this is something that's interesting and sometimes will catch you off guard if you're not paying attention to this third column. And so note what happens when I change the region, right? The price changes. And so certain regions tend to be more expensive than the others. From playing around, I've noticed that Sao Paulo region tends to be the most expensive at $39 for a simple one, one CPU for a simple configuration or standard configuration. Um, the cheapest ones tend to be in the US Central. I think it's about 24 and Europe and Asia seem to sit somewhere in between. I know Sydney is pretty expensive as well. Things like Tokyo are pretty expensive. Um, but the American ones tend to be cheap. I'm not too sure why. I could probably find out and do another video on that. But uh, that's something for you to notice. And that's just something important for you guys to note, um, especially if you're very cost sensitive.